Welcome to the Egyptian campaign for Davidi at Empera 1.2 and if you've been following the series you'll see I've pushed on a little bit now got an army out that's gone out as far as a kink and I'm now pushing up through here and we've got Plavenda and I've got two armies now closing in on Samagusta so we're kind of now pushing hard against the Romans and over here I pushed a couple of armies up to actually invade here the problem is that these are all staying inside of the zone of control and with all these armies here if I attack here they, these will just dogpile in on me and destroy my two armies but at the same time my, my, my allies over here the Saku have pushed in this way so it's a possibility that these armies may move away to take this back and then expose this settlement but this is a bit of a waiting game at the moment with my two armies here I'm just trying to the original idea was to put the armies here to try and draw these armies out but it hasn't worked so far and over here in Italy things have gone pretty quiet things have got stable and what I'm thinking of is taking out Octodurum because to show you diplomatically I've been working on these these guys here and they like us because we're fighting the Romans and you can see actions against the Romans 110 so the, the more I attack the Romans the better and the same is also over here what I've been doing is Saku show you here what I've been doing with the Saku is kind of giving them the occasional cash. In fact, I think give them a bit we more cash now. To your offers, but do not wrap them in lies. I've been paying the them. No truth. That's maybe a bit too much. Okay. And. I can sense that my guard smile on us. And I've just been kind of slipping the occasional cash to kind of make them feel a bit more inclined to help us. And the idea is eventually is to try and get a, a military alliance so that we can actually take Bactria or get the victory condition for Bactria. If I just show you the victory conditions now, guys. That's the only area left, and what I'd like to do is get that as as military allies so that I don't actually have to come out and invade it. You can see now I've got 76 of 85, so we've got nine more regions to go, and that will be the end of the campaign. But what's the first thing we're gonna do here is come in and we're gonna take Zaragusta. Wow, they've got three garrisons here. the third garrison come from okay it looks like we're gonna have a, a really good battle here two on two armies go guys so we're gonna start the deployment now the question's gonna be where their reinforcements are coming from. Uh, in the past, I've split my armies. I think I still am. And we're going to put this army over here. And then my other army will come in here. And the, but the question's going to be... Can't get in on this corner for once, which is a little bit annoying. So... I mean, the odds are that their reinforcements come in from over here. They could attack from here. But that would be a long way away from the army that would come in here. Smash our way in there. Now, I think I'm inclined come along this way because there's no artillery positions along this wall here apart and these guys 
one's over. Put one about there. And about there. But I'll drop you. Put a couple of these guys. Drop you here. I, these guys aren't really suitable for a, a kind of attacking position. And what I am going to do now is. Well, well mine are. Mine are soul troops there and get our cattle. What I do want to do is make sure that if the Roman army comes in, we're going to be ready for them. I don't know. I know it looks like I've been a bit overcautious, but I think it's necessary. I think what we do have slingers on each flank as well. And I think that's all we can do. So let's start the battle. And once the start. Our reinforcements have arrived. Start smashing in on these walls here. And here comes the other Roman army. So to do is get these forces in position ASAP. Gonna have to fight these guys here. I mean, the odds are they're gonna try and come against this area here, so. Get this defensive line set up. Get the cavalry guy here. Fire at will, and I want you over here. So our first step is going to be deal with these guys. The walls are breached. Yes. Let's get back over here. My other army gone. There it is. Okay. The walls are breached. Yes, I know. That is a solid infantry. Cavalry in position. Thorax hoplites. Thorax hoplites forward. Canteen cavalry. At the penury. Orders, my lord. Fire. That's completely separated off. Let's get, get these guys together. Slingers forward. Wait. Parity. Get after these guys. Get their attention.
get these guys back off that flank. Those aren't dying, that's a bit of a downside. Okay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Guys are going down, but these guys are not accepting battle, uh, which is a bit of a pain. But okay, let's just keep. I think we're just wasting ammunition. Stop wasting your ammunition Quickly up here. And it should de destroy these guys. Okay, let's get this. It's up here. Get the general up here. Love to get a swipe in at these, but these guys are working so much in. Okay, let's hit these guys from behind. I want to deal with this first. Okay, we're taking down some of these guys. This ammunition is being used usefully. Here, well, got a bit of a mess. Let's get slingers forward. Got here, Italian light guard. Artillery here, lots of artillery over here, and guys oh, actually moving forward. These troops have been shot at. I think mean, we've got a very, very long range here somewhere. Okay. Right. What are we going to do here? Guard down. Start expending. A bit of a waste, but if we get rid of at least one of these units, yeah, they go down very, very quick. That's like almost like shooting fish in a barrel. But up here, Italian swordsman. 
need to some very pro cohort, right? Not going to do much to them, but. Archers, bring you guys forward. And I think what we're going to do is hit these heavy cohorts on the top. It won't do that much damage to them. Artillery. Oh, I think we've destroyed that one. But we need this one gone as well. Not that the artillery is going to do that much damage, but if we can pour some, lots of fire in on them. Gee, flaming shot, that's normally a good good chance of getting rid of these guys. The walls are breached! Okay, we've smashed through that wall there. I don't think we can get a bigger gap. But I think what we can do is... Any good other good targets here? Well, yes, yeah, Town Guard. Ta town Guard. Italian Swordsman. Start hitting these guys hard. gatehouse I think. Just get use it try and use this ammunition maximum effect. Hitting these guys. This is gonna be a little bit of a tough battle. Though most of the forces are concentrated over here. One of our units has used all its yep. ammunition. Okay, you run out of ammunition and our artillery's out of ammunition. So we're now down to missile troops. Put these guys in a bit closer. How are we doing over here? Yep, I think we're kind of taking these guys down. Certainly taking this heavy cohort down, which is exactly what I want. But they're gonna, well, keep weakening them. One of our units is this is this could be a, a long siege, guys. Right, just want to keep pouring the fire in here. I think we're going to make the main our initial assault from over this side. I think. Cavalry up. I think if we can breach here, we will then pull forces away from this side, and then that will kind of keep keep them weak and weak on this side. Okay. You guys are nearly out. If you're out of ammunition, pull back. Italian swordsmen there, who I think are split, they're actually split away from that, their primary force. That's just going to be interesting. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. And one can fall back. Shot all your ammunition. Firing Italian swordsmen, let's keep them busy. Pull this side. Got pikes on this side, which isn't particularly that good. 
this is why I really want to fight on the other side. I mean, these guys are going to be good if they can get in, but at the moment they're just going to be a bit weak. You can drop and go stand over there as well. So what we're going to do is just keep them interested on this side. And on. Okay, you pull back. Morax hoplites will work. The trick is going to be getting in here without actually crowding this space. Actually, let's. you guys this way and that way. Bring you guys here. What you can do is get your spears into action. So here we go guys. Archers, you just keep pouring the fire onto these lots. Guard over here. The veteran legionary is very heavy. They're going to be a bit of a problem. Right, I want you guys to use your spears or javelins. One of our units has used all its walls. Okay. Time to start forcing the entrance. Okay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. The entrance. Entrance. something I don't normally do. The trouble is we've got oil in the gatehouse, that's going to be a problem. One of our units has used all its Heavy ammunition. melee infantry. I'm going to have to micro this out very, very carefully. What I want to do is keep a, try and get a gap here so I can kind of get a flanking attack. We are at your command. Double time. Tom, I want you over this way. Ah, uh, come on. Tom, you out this way. Push through. Come, push through, push through. We've, at least we've disabled that tower. Alright, hoplites through. guys to push on. Push that. What I want you to do is push away that missile unit. Okay, next unit through. Get you guys here. Slot forward. Guys, go retreat that way. We are at your command. Get 
through here. Apologies, I've got to micro this, guys, but it's the only way I'm actually going to do that. We can keep those slingers off us. Tarantines, I want you here as well. I don't engage, I want you to attack them. Right, got those slingers, that's exactly what I want. Still keeping the AI preoccupied over here, which is exactly what I want them to do. I actually force this side. So here, right, Borax in. We could cheese the AI on this one by going straight for the center, which I probably might do actually, guys, to try and keep the casualties low. I know it's not sporting, but. Right. Got here, Italian swordsman. I want you back this way, I don't want you wandering too far. Some of you guys to come this way. Tarantines, actually. What we got here? Hoplites. I want you up this way so that we can take that tower there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Guys, use ammunition here. This is Italian guard, so they should go down pretty quickly. Hey, you're not firing up. Don't want you firing up, please. Get. Guys, get over here and take this tower so that I can operate through here. in Persian Hoplites get these guys in my other bit cavalry want them in Egyptians just form up there for the moment I think we will go for the centre Hacking through that lot is going to be a little bit of a challenge and it's something I don't particularly want to do. Okay, let's go. Let's speed this up guys, it's becoming a little bit of a grind. To detach some more Tarantines. I think we're going to use the Tarantines on this side in force. Come. Right, these guys are going down. These Tarantines over. You guys can come this way as well. General facing that way. Fresh. You're active. It's a tired. You pull out. Right, 
Let's just slow it. Get some cavalry charges in as well. Take these guys down, weaken them. Right, we've got some town guard coming this way. Tower here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Right, let's push in on here. Hear what we got here. Got cavalry, cavalry. But it's predominantly cavalry in the centre here. Okay. Opportunities this way. We have captured a tower. Here, Italian swordsman. You're fresh. You're winded. Pull out. Tarantines pushed this way, supported by. As you command. And. Your order. I think you guys can start to move forward. We await your orders. Okay. Those are tired. You guys are winded, you guys are winded, you rest. We await your order. General, pull out. And you guys come up this way. Got here. Heavy melee cavalry. Routines you actually form up behind. Wow, getting a lot of stutter. Orders, my lord. Melee infantry at that end. Actually, you guys can just go up there in support. Borax hot potatoes. Get that way. Guys are a little bit exposed on this flank, so you come up that side. Got here. Italian guard. Okay, you guys come in that side. You support them. <laughs> get, get them all over here, guys. I know it's not fair. I know some of you will complain. Rested. You're active. Okay. Get a charge in on these. It won't be much of a charge, but. Right. Okay, let's concentrate on this area here. My Tarantines, I want you over here. Start to advance that way. Let's move that way. Got here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Hey. Start to squeeze. Stop. Pikes. Pile in on that cavalry. This cavalry move around this side. Guys, 
pull out. General in. Wow, getting a lot of. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to cheese this if possible. Because I'm getting a lot of stutter on this. Right, Galatians. Doing. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. General, I think you need to disengage and come over this way. Guys, come in here. Tarantines, I want you in this way. These guys go. Are active. These guys are losing. Combat even. We are at your One of our units has used all the Breaking this cavalry unit on this side, so coming to this side. I know you shouldn't attack cavalry, but it's standing still. These guys are breaking. Okay, pull out. Very heavy cavalry. Get you guys up here. Guys, advance. Advance in port. That's actually a heavy. Wow. Right, these guys are finally gone. of you to defend bank heavy cavalry, heavy cavalry. You come up here where's my general drive off these guys get into here and reverse yep Teens come this way. Get a rear charge in here. I say, I say I don't do this very often, guys, but I don't really want to fight this lot. I think this army's done very well, just keeping these guys busy. I think we've got that area here. Our enemy have lost a victory point. Yep. Let's just line up here. Look threatening. Quarantines. I think you can just look defensive that way. Okay, I'm just going to speed this up, guys. We've got the victory point. Go away. Don't fire. Okay, we've got it now. The forces in the centre. I think this army did very well, actually. Um, we didn't even defeat most of the garrison here. But it's Desi was still equal, but we've got the victory point, and that's all that counts. All these guys are going to die for no reason at all. You can see Italian swordsmen. I think we've destroyed most of their army that came through here. 
Town Guard as the Coal Primus. Yeah, so they got some, the they got some legendary. I mean, hacking through this lot would have been very, very difficult. I mean, they got all their really heavy troops stuck up on the wall here. I mean, it's a shame I didn't have more uh, missile troops. We could have shot them all down very, very quickly here. Although we've reduced this one down to um, half its size. So we're just going to let this run out, guys. That's Italian guard tired. There we are. We lost 320, which is pretty good actually. Um, but we only killed half their force. But the, the downside is the army that came in might retreat. But we've killed their main garrison. And you can see here, look. <laughs> no, zero, 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 zero. Uh, of course, we can occupy. Again. Yeah. At your command. And I think that was the army that was. Yep. Yeah. And what to do is pull this army back this way. And you kind of swoop back this way. What I'd like to do is take my lava. And that's took nearly an hour, guys. Sorry about that. But I think it's worth it from the point of view of this campaign because it makes this campaign a little bit more interesting in the sense that, well, because I am grinding through these last few build kind of resorts now. So, and what I have got here is... I've been trying to convert these agents as well, but if we can convert this spy, did not coerce, but nevertheless was injured. Okay, and I think what I will do is just to wind this part up, guys. It should be a very, very quick, short battle. I think we'll take off to Duran. Okay, we're going to fight this. They've rallied out. That's going to be good. Although we've only got the one artillery, but. I think we'll still have the we've we've got cavalry superiority. Um, we're roughly equal missile wild wise, but they've only got pal sets. Okay, we'll start the deployment. And okay, uh, we've got quite a strong pike line. We will deploy. Let's deploy them quite short. About there. come here and say this battle shouldn't take too long famous last words that's what I said I must admit I was expecting that last one to be a lot easier than that and we're just gonna put the archers across the front blisters actually you can just stay in and of course we two sets of cavalry on this one so we have this one on the side and we'll have this one on that side. I think we'll have our Axemen pretty close in. Supporting these guys. And that gives us... we have the... Swordsman. Just lined up on here so you can actually come and take the flanks. Okay. The battle. As their heaviest troops, got the Italian swordsman. These Italian swordsmen are pretty tough, actually. And cavalry's out on that flank, so that's good. Yeah, we got some good shots into that Italian swordsman. do is put go on to flaming shot so you can deal with those come out that side guys aren't in range yet
focus fire on the slingers. Get plenty of fire in on them. Quarantines come out that way. X-Men. Archers back. Break that way. And you break that way. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Quarantines. One of our units right, we're used destroying that cavalry. Okay. Oops. Got to fix that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, time to sweep the back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Hey, you're always doing that. Get off. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Get the guys in on this side. Guys out that way. Get you guys to curve round this way. The battle is turning in our favor. Yes, our sir. general is under attack. Drive off these guys. Right, archers. You're killing too many of my own troops. Get over there. Right. It's time for you guys to get some rear charges on these guys. Cavalry into there. One of our Tarantines back. Mission. General back here. General, what we got here? Heavy melee, heavy melee, okay. Break off. Taking casualties. Tarantines. There. Right. In the back. Nice heavy rear charges. War cry. Inspire. Get you guys in the back there. Guys, lob in. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Guys, break away and pull that side. Right, this guy's side is broken. Hey, I thought I'd got rid of you lot. I'm killing my own troops. Hey. General. Give this guy the shove. Oh, it doesn't need it. Right, end battle. Oh, we lost seventy nine, and we killed two thousand and fifty. Wow, that was uh, an interesting battle. And we've now got off to Durham. Thank you. 
occupy it. So we better do the routine stuff. Certainly going to convert. I think we can just convert that. Growth 330. I think we'll just get with that. And we're certainly going to back down. Oh, I don't know. We could leave that. No. I'm just going to knock that down. And I think I'm going to just going to knock that down as well. Because I don't need the cash. I think this is untaxed anyway. So. I can't remember doing the buildings here, so I better do these. And 778. I think we will go with that. Certainly going to knock that down. We're going to keep that. We've got garrisons here, so we don't need that. And we don't need that, so that can all come down. Dacia. How can I assist that? Uh, celebrate these guys here oh and oh one thing I didn't mention was here they're still they're still actually behaving themselves at the moment they got this oh actually these guys yep and there's still a still a satrapy of Sinope for some reason but at the moment they do declare war will be in there say just a quick reminder guys because that was quite a long siege I think I'm just going to sit this out for the moment if anything do exciting does happen I will record it and just to kind of show you the way everything's going got you can see we've got three settlements now but uh, I don't think I think if I probably put this back on it's gonna have, oh, it's not that bad but I don't need the money at the moment so there's no point worrying about it this is building up. Dacia is obviously there. Bithnus Pontus is doing okay. Palmyra. Don't think I've got anyone else with any problems. You can see Egyptian Egyptus down here now is doing really, really well. I'm very, very tempted to take that down and actually kind of because uh, I don't really actually. I think I might I might do that. Is just take that down because it's I don't need this for raising artillery now. I'm on pretty good f terms with Carthage and this is pretty good as well I'm in a plus 20 public order here so maybe we'll put some there I mean at the moment I'm just there the other thing I've also done is I've built the great library is now finished and you can see here things are going along very very well here though the public order is not brilliant it's only plus 5 and I mean this is the problem when you when you got this yeah this is 17 so maybe we can give ourselves a little bit of extra cash here and i think this is where i'm gonna leave it guys hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting sorry that was a little bit of a different siege but i think it was necessary to kind of get our forces up and running and of course what we will be doing later on is pushing out against petrova i think I've got this guy here, so I think spy here. I think we'll get our spy to come and see what the Romans are up in up in Petrova, because obviously if we can take Petrova here, we will then seal off this area here and make it safer. That's it. Actually, where's the Roman capital now? Roman capital is over here, and you can see now we've now pushed the Romans back this way. We've got no one behind us. Our friends here have kind of pushed up here. So, so maybe if we could push in. I think there's another settlement here. Anyway, I will we'll keep playing on off camera guys just to keep keep the momentum going with this campaign. But this is where I'm gonna leave it guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting, and until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.